Hello there. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the rosary. And there are many different types of rosaries. There's just your general rosary. This one has beautiful babies in it. I think I've showed it to you before. And um, there's wooden, which is really pretty with the icons in it of Jesus. Could have different saints in it. Very pretty. This one here actually is a very long rosary. And you can go around this one and do all the mysteries. So we have four. Joyous, luminous, sorrowful, glorious. And I believe this is the Benedictine cross. I think these may be olive. So you see there's all different types of rosaries you could use. There's no specific one you need to, and there's different kind of rosaries that you can do on the rosary beads. So um, these books explain, well, this is a book and this is a pamphlet that explains to you, gives you specific directions, tells you all about the different rosaries that you can do. This one just has the joyful, sorrowful, glorious because the luminous did come at some point later. Uh, so there you can see them and you can go online and you can see all these wonderful rosaries and I will be doing one each. I'll be putting that up so you can pray along with me. And this way you'll be able to follow along if you've never done it before. I just wanna read you a little bit about it. The rosary was instituted by the Blessed Virgin Mary herself. In the 13th century, she appeared to St. Dominic, who was the founder of the Dominicans. She gave him a rosary and asked that Christians recite it. While the beads help us to count the prayers, more importantly, we recite the rosary asking God for favor. Like recovering from illness, a new job, a new baby, you know, whatever it may be that you might want to ask God for. And it's kind of like um, when you're doing these prayers and you're doing them in so many, you know, you're not just doing one Hail Mary or one Our Father a day. You're doing several, which makes it more of like an atonement for the sins of the world or, the, or your own sins. So then this way it's more of an offering. It's more of an offering to the Lord so that he'll hopefully give us that favor that we're asking from him as his children, our wonderful creator, the Lord Almighty. And he brought us wonderful Jesus through Mary. And here's a little information in this book here if you wanna borrow it from your library when the libraries are opened again after the uh, pandemic is over. This is the Dictionary of Mary and it's a wonderful book. It explains all about her and her role in being the mother of God our wonderful Lord Jesus. So you would hold the rosary for right-handed people in your left hand, kind of like this, you know, whatever's comfortable for you. You see that? And then you would hold the cross in this hand, this way. And you would begin with the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. And you would kiss the cross. You can kiss, you know, anywhere on the cross, Jesus' feet, his head, whatever you would like. And the first prayer you would say would be the Apostles' Creed. I'm not gonna do that with you right now because I don't wanna do all the prayers at this point. You'll be able to see those prayers and follow along on the next videos, okay? And so again, the Apostles' Creed is in, you can Google it or you can get a little booklet. All the prayers are in here see them all the prayers they list every prayer and the diagram shows when you say each one I'm gonna give you an idea right now right here how we're gonna do that so the Apostles Creed would come first and then you would say that on the cross and then on this gold cross or if you're using a wooden cross you would do it on the wooden cross then you would get to the next spot this one has an icon of jesus this one has a red cross following the gold cross and 
each one of these 10 beads has an icon between it also. Same here. Each one of the 10 beads has a red cross in between it. It's a marker. And what we do is, so we start out with, again, the Apostles' Creed on the actual cross itself. Then we go to this spot, whether it's an icon or a cross, maybe it's a medal. And you would say the R Father. Then you would proceed to these three beads and you would say a Hail Mary for each one of those. And then you would get to this next spot here, which in on this rosary, it's a red cross. Before you get to this cross, you would do a glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. There's two little prayers that go after the three Hail Marys. And again, you will see those on the next videos, and they're in the pamphlet too. And then you would announce the first mystery. So let's just say we were doing the joyful, the joyful mysteries. And the first mystery of the joyful would be the Annunciation. And that was when Gabriel, the archangel, came to Mary and announced to her that she would be the mother of God, that she would carry God's son, Jesus, and Jesus later would become equal to God. So he asked her, you know, will you accept this? And she said, yes. And so before you get to this again, you would announce that first mystery, the Annunciation of the Joyful Mysteries, and then you would proceed to say the Our Father on this first marker before you get to the medal, okay? And then after you're done with the Our Father, you would get to the first section of these beads and you would say 10 Hail Marys, one on each bead, okay? There's 10. Then you get to the next marker, another Our Father, but first you would announce the second mystery. And for joyful, that would be the visitation when the Blessed Mother Mary went to visit her cousin Elizabeth, who was pregnant with John, Jesus' cousin. They were both pregnant. So Mary was pregnant with Jesus, Elizabeth was pregnant with John, and Mary announced to Elizabeth that she was gonna have this baby, this special baby. And um, Elizabeth's baby, John, who was the cousin, leaped for joy in her womb when Mary told her. And so that later became John the Baptist. Okay, so a little history here as we're going along. But joyful, so that's a joyful mystery. You would announce that and you would read the reading for that mystery for each one. Then you would do the Our Father again. And then the 10 Hail Marys. And then you would get to the next joyful mystery. And before you get to this speed, you would announce the third joyful mystery. And that would be the nativity, the birth of Jesus. And then you would say the Our Father, 10 Hail Marys, and you'd get to the fourth, and you would announce the fourth joyful mystery, which would be the presentation of Jesus in the temple. At that point when he was presented in the temple, you know, that was confirming that he was God's special gift to us. So then you would do the Our Father and then the 10 Hail Marys, and then you would announce the fifth mystery. And the fifth mystery is the finding of Jesus in the temple. So they went on a trip with the family, extended family members, and Jesus was lost. So Mary and Joseph turned around to go find him, and they found him in the temple, teaching, teaching people all about God. And so that is the fifth joyful mystery that is called the finding of Jesus in the temple. And then you do the Our Father, and then the 10 Hail Marys, and then you come to the end, and now you would do glory be to the Father. Again, you would be doing that at the end of each Hail Mary. So I kind of left that out, but I'm gonna go back a little bit here. You will see the prayers. You will follow them you know, in the instruction booklet or online, and 
hopefully along with me, because I'll be putting those videos out for you. So you'll be able to learn them. Okay, so then when you get to the end, and when you're done with your glory be, I know your oh my Jesus prayer, then there is the Hail Holy Queen, Queen of Heaven and Earth. That's our Blessed Mother, right? There she is. Queen of Heaven and Earth. And here she is here, right? That's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pictures of her everywhere, all around my house. Just gorgeous. I collect them. Then there are a couple more prayers after the Hail Holy Queen. And then you would close with the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And you kiss the cross again. And you're done. So really the whole process will take you about, depending on how, how quickly you go, I like to take my time. So it takes me about 20 minutes. If you go really fast, I know some people like to go high speed with it, it's about 10 minutes. But it's nice to go slowly and just kind of soak it up, absorb it, you know, and really feel what you're saying and, and feel what went on back then, you know, the, the mysteries that have been given to us so that this way, you know, you're really feeling contact with God. You're not just feeling like you're rambling through it high speed. I mean, it's effective if you're, you know, if you're in a hurry and you really got to get your rosary done, you know, that's okay. But if you can, if you're going to be doing it daily, if you can, you're going to be offering it up for a lot of people are doing it now for uh, the coronavirus, for that to end and for the whole world to be clean again and pure. So I really hope that you'll follow me along in the beautiful Most Holy Rosary that the Queen of Heaven and Earth gave us. And of course, through the Lord, He directed her to do this. And it's always through God that Mary intercedes for us. So whenever we're asking, we're in our prayers for Mary to intercede and she goes to the Lord for us. And she's also involved in this rosary because she is the one who did, after all, present it to us. And she has a lot of stock in it. She wants to see us happy. She wants to see the world thrive. She wants to see everybody get to heaven. And so does Jesus and the Father and the Holy Spirit. So I think you'll do really well. And I'll see you in the rosary videos. God bless you. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so you get more videos. All right. See you soon. Bye-bye. Virgin Mother of God